I'm going to draw you a map. You say, have the climatic conditions in Africa changed, or has it always been this cold in the winter time? Abchek, remember, hold on one sec. Africa is very, very large, which means that the conditions where we live in Africa are entirely distinct from those that the conditions uh, are in, say, the Ngorongora crater. David, can you see this? Too far. Can you see that? Good grief, really? Here? Here? Oh, good. Right, Abject, this is going to be Africa, believe it or not. Now, Africa looks a little bit like this, uh, a very little. You must accept that I'm the world's worst drawer. There's the sort of bulge, goes down like that to Cape Town, comes up here, and goes down to the Horn of Africa there. There we go, I didn't quite f make it in my frame, but that basically abject is what Africa looks like. Now, Africa is five ti oh, three times the size of the continental United States, so it's massive, right? You got Africa there, Dave? I think that's quite impressive, don't you? There is Cape Town, and we're over here in the Kruger National Park, which basically is a big piece of land in that area there. Ngorongoro Crater, where I think the coldest elephants are, is all the way up here. That is a good two and a half thousand miles from where we are now. And remember the Ebola outbreak that happened, which was in Liberia, which is around here. That's another two and a half thousand miles from there, three thousand miles from us. So the size of this continent is absolutely astounding. And it's very important that people realize that. So that when you, oh, I'll get back to the question now. When you say, has global warming affected the entire continent, or has Africa always been this cold in winter? Africa um, is cold in winter in different places. It's much colder in Johannesburg, which is over there, than it is where we are here. It's much colder, or it's, um, it, there's a Mediterranean climate in Cape Town. It's rainy now there compared with here. In Gorongora Crater, the equator runs like this. And Gorongoro Crater is north of the equator, so they're in the middle of summer at the moment. So Africa is really a very vast place. Um, I don't believe that global warming has necessarily affected our climate. I think there are a lot of people who will tell you that global warming has affected our climate uh, substantially. I don't believe that to be the case because I don't believe that we have the evidence yet to say. Could we on average say that global warming has affected Africa's climate? Yes. Does the drought of last year mean that global warming has affected us? Almost certainly not. We've had droughts in this area forever. And it's a sort of seven to nine year cycle that we get droughts. That's perfectly consistent with what we've had. So no, I don't think there's been any noticeable change for us. Has there been a degree or two difference? Maybe. How do we notice it? Do the animals notice it? No. Do the plants notice it? Yes, probably. They probably are the ones that notice it more and there will be very subtle changes in vegetation as a result of all of that. Uh, d there's, not, there's not an animal here, is there? Not a sausage. Okay, let's move on. We'll turn around and go back down.